Now, I just want to tell you a few things about this. I mean, like I said, it's really good, but there's a few things that I think that I can aid you with on this. First off, first and foremost, I would have left this out. The only reason that even exists is because because I needed something to put this strand of Snapdragons in so that it wouldn't die when I was painting it the very first time. So that's the first thing. So you might want to consider darkening this and maybe even painting that out. But it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't really make sense as a good element to the painting. And this is the picture of the setup. And let's have a look at that right next to yours here. And these grapes here, what I want you to notice is I think that you've made your highlights a little bit too big and that's kind of weakened the strength of the grapes. And I think if you keep your highlights small, and what I like to use for highlights is I take the back of a paintbrush that's no longer good and I will take it and I will just take the tip and stick it in a pencil sharpener and make a nice little tool and I'll just go down and pick up a little bit of paint and I'll just dot my grapes with the back of that brush with just a little bit of um, paint and it works as excellent highlights and it mimics these highlights really well because they're just little dots and sometimes you put down a tiny little halo first and then put a dot down afterwards if you want the halo look that you get through that the other thing is the vase the drawing is really good it looks just exactly like that vase um, what has happened is I think you've got too many little spots of light in there and what I'd rather see you do is keep it down to a minimum of maybe a couple and maybe one reflected light and that way what happens if you get too many pieces of light all over the place it becomes what we call fractured and what happens is it loses its sense of strength just the individual object because your eye is here and it's here 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 whereas otherwise if you just had one highlight here and maybe one there a little bit of reflected light there you the object retains its strength and then what happens too is instead of your eye the spots it sees this as one thing and then it goes gently to the flowers and really the flowers are the focal area of this painting and you I got read in your email that you used um, Winton cadmium lemon and I've had students use that in the past and I find that color to be kind of a weak color and I think it's better maybe to stick with a good brand for that particular color I like um, good brands for lemon yellow or cad lemon as well as for cad yellow deep the other ones, the other colors, I'm not so particular about, but those are very hard to um, to buy in a student grade paint and have them perform the way you're going to want them to. So that, that just a little suggestion. You don't have to do that. The next thing I want to talk about is the back. I think the background would have been better, a little darker. You could have, um, like we see here, it is lighter here, but I think just overall a little darker would have made the yellow stand out. All right? See how those really stand out there. And lastly, one last thing I want to talk about is the greenery. The greenery is a little too chromatic. What I mean by that is just too intense of a green for this painting. It would have been better if we minimized the green a little bit or had smaller pieces where it's intensely green. And if you look at any of the, the good still life painters in the past, you will find that they decrease the chroma in the greenery so that the flowers seem more intense. It's like you can only have so much attention going somewhere on this painting and it's better to decide what the painting's about. In this case it's about these beautiful snapdragons, right? And save our color for that and decrease the color in the other areas, if that makes sense. And by doing that it makes the color you do have seem much, much more intense.